Okay, I'm making this video for YouTube. It's my first time doing it. So, anyway, this is my modified smoker. I got a, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a flex plate right there. And smokes beautifully. I can put meat all the way across the top. I haven't cleaned it yet. It's kind of dirty. Every smoker that I have, I converted it to run on gas and wood. Here is my wood box that I put in the fire box. See how clean it is? No mess of charcoal or anything. And this is the way my wood box works. It's an ammunition box, which uh, army ammo box, which you can see all my wood is in there. It'll take nice sized logs and uh, close it up and lock it down like so lock down and put it in here and close it down it's ready to smoke Jerry. now Jerry. let me see Jerry. okay back to recording this is my file cabinet smoker I see a lot of people making file cabinet smokers uh, none of them as efficient as this one up in the top chamber here, I can probably put 20 slabs of ribs. I have my rods that I take out in here. Here, Each rod is almost 30, uh, 26 inches, 27 inches long, as you can see here. And I put the meat on the rods, put it back up in here like so, which I'm getting ready to smoke some ribs in a few minutes. And I have two of those rods, so I can fill this whole top cabinet up with meat. And as well... I have these drawers, one with the long stem thermometer that serves two purposes. I could either use this to gauge the temperature gauge in whatever drawer I'm smoking in, and also I can stick it in the meat if I have pork butts in this drawer, and in, this, in, the, in the third drawer, I can have the temperature gauges going into the meat itself. Here, I'll open up this drawer and show you. And see, there's another one right there. Goes all the way into the drawer. And I can check the temperature of the meat while the bottom drawer and the top drawer will check, have the temperature of the smoker. And amazingly, if you look at this deflector plate here, let me move the tank out the way. The deflector plate in here, as you can see, I have my big water pan down in there. And then on the bottom of the water pan, as you can see, is the deflector plate. Okay? And I could also cook on top of this grate also. Ribs or whatever I want. That's flat. And down in the bottom is my firebox. Very neat and clean. I have my, what I call my smoke cap. All I do is put a large chunk of wood in the smoke pan. The, uh gas burners right under it it heats this smoker up very nicely it's one of those uh, high pressure burners that you get on a turkey fryer or something like that put that on put your chunk of wood in large chunk of wood put that over the top close it or light it up and close it and she's almost ready to go now i'm going to stop this video right now because i want to get it all on one so what i'm going to do is actually show you the meat in the smoker and show it lit up and smoking so we'll be back in a second 